Hey there, baseball fans, it's Ben, and today I've got a totally weird pack of a box of cards to open up. You know I love these oddball sets. This is the 1988 Fleer Baseball Star Stickers Factory Sealed uh, Wax Box. These are stickers that I guess you would st put in a sticker book. They come with logo stickers and player photo stickers. Uh, on the bottom, you can see Gary Carter, Ron Girdry, Don Baylor, and a giant sticker. Nothing very interesting to me. But uh, I actually don't even know what's in this box in terms of what players. So looking forward to ripping it open and finding out what we got. This is just a shrink wrap on the outside, so. Nothing too interesting. Imagine that was actually added by the retailer, not the factory. So let's see what these look like. Open up a handful of these you know I recall there being a Sean Dunstan in this set I think I already have it in my collection so I'd definitely be looking for that for uh, Ryan Sandberg, Nolan Ryan, Mark Grace would love to see those in here too I have no idea what the criteria are for being a star in the star sticker set because Teddy Higuera maybe not <laughs> well I guess he had 20 wins, 18 wins. That was a good good couple years for him. What happened to that guy? Let's, let's put him aside. Maybe we can find out what happened. Um, one thing about these Fleer baseball stickers compared to the Topps ones, the Fleer ones are really more like cards because they're the same size. They have stats on the back. Um, there's a good Wade Boggs card there. Numbered. So, like, these were definitely meant to be more cards than stickers, whereas the top ones were typically had stickers on the front and back, didn't have numbers necessarily. Um, yeah, just a different experience. And, and they were mini most of the time. So I got a good deal on these and was just super excited to try a different kind of set. Although, I gotta be honest, honest with you, they don't seem very exciting. <laughs> Now that they are, now that I'm ripping into them because, like, Frank White, what in the world? Like, what's Frank White got going on? Not a great average hitter. And decent, decent home runs. Like, whatever. Hardly a star in my estimation. But I guess you could say the same about my favorite player, Sean Dunstan. So, you know, it's all in the eye of the beholder. So far, not a lot of great cards in here. We have one lonely Wade Boggs. Oh, there's Dave Winfield at least, so that'll be a good one. Benito Santiago. And there's Dave Winfield. Wow, this one's really kind of off-centered. Don Robinson. Yeah, 274. ERA, seven saves. 26 strikeouts. Well, I guess there was two years together, though, so there's that. Uh, Troy Evans. Eddie Murray. Let's see what else we get in here. Yeah, this is really... Oh, look at that one! Ryan Sandberg! I don't know that I have that in my collection. It's really kind of waxed up on the back here, but... No worries for my own personal collection. That'll do. So super excited to get that one. That's fantastic. Keith Hernandez. S slyly looking to the left there. Interesting. Tim Raines. And I am going to go ahead and open up a couple more just because they're such small packs and really haven't seen a whole lot of terribly interesting things. I wonder if there's a Nolan Ryan somewhere in this set. There's Mike Schmidt. That's a good one. Not sure how many cards are in this set either. We're seeing that Ryan Sandberg was number 80 in the set, so at least it goes up that high. It's Tony Gwynn. Not seeing a lot of doubles either, so here's Vince Cole. All right, we're getting somewhere now. Kirby Puckett. Yeah, that was a good way to end off, to finish off with the... Uh, a run of actual stars before we look up Teddy Higuera, uh, the Brewers pitcher. There he 
Juniors. Played for nine years for the Brewers. Only for the Brewers. Oh, switch hitting pitcher. Look at that. You don't see that very often. 94 and 64, win loss records. Not bad. 361 ERA, 1,000 strikeouts. Had a little brief stint in 92 where he didn't play. His all star in 86, so not long after this. I must have been his 20 game season. American Family Field Walk of Fame. Mexican Baseball Hall of Fame. There you go. 21 season in 86. Yeah, that's a good year for sure. And 18 games the next season. And then kind of tailed off after that. So injury problems, as usual. Back surgery, sprained ankles. Four-year, $13 million contract, not bad. Towards Rotator Cup in 91. Missed all of 92. And then did not continue on after that. Attempted to come back with the Padres, did not make the team. Pitching coach in Mexico. And induction into the Hall of Fame. So, uh, definitely still stuck with baseball. Made his money. Had some good seasons. Injuries plagued him. But, Teddy Higuera, good for you, buddy. So, hats off to you. And the rest of you, we will see you next time.